trouble drawing fabric, trouble drawing clothes, bending points. Oh yeah, in this video we are going to solve that problem right now. Epic art tutorial! The first thing that we need to do, and it's the the way that I always start my tutorials. Search for reference. Reference is going to guide you. Reference is going to show you the way. First of all, we need to understand one simple word, and that word is move. Movement. Movement. I like to move it, move it. Remember that song, okay? We like to move it. That's what is happening with this fabric. It's moving. Okay, how can I show you that it's moving? Let me create another layer just to show you exactly how to understand fabric and how to make it perfect in your artwork. Here, we've got a point. Here, we've got another point. And from these two points, and with the force of gravity, everything's just... Okay, not that color, Gabs. <laughs> everything's just falling down and falling down. And since this is a fabric, this is not something too heavy that we go like swoosh down. It's getting its it curves, you know. It got its curves. It's like oh, okay, oh, there's something in the way. I'm going the other way. Bye bye. I'm going the bye 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 bye. Okay, that's what's happening with the movement. And between two points where it's totally touching on some kind of object, or some kind of surface, like this dot and this dot, between them that probably got nothing, or almost nothing, maybe, it's going to let the gravity do its work. What gravity is going to make here? Oh yeah, gravity is going to make everything connect but falling. It's constantly falling. That's that's what I mean, champ, when I say movement. You can see there is a surface here. Totally going against the sky. And here it's not completely falling down in the borders. Because remember, it's light. It's like a feather. So it can just go swoosh to the sides that it wants to go. Of course, gravity does help. And if not gravity, remember, there's wind. Because gravity, everything is going down. But if I was to make a wind and there was a little rock right here, do you know how I would do it? Do you know it? Like this. First of all, movement. Almost a triangle shape. And here, the tissue, the fabric. Just following up the movement. Like, whoa, what is this string? Oh, you're too strong. It's over 9,000. And here a lot of C's. Do you see the C? C, E, C, E, bigger C, S, S. I, I mean the letter, the letter, the letter, the, I mean the letter. YouTube, don't ban me, I mean the letter. It's educational pro purpose, okay? Totally educational. And Gabs, how do I make the bending pretty strong here in the bottom of the rock? Okay, I can show you. Just these bending points that I did, but even stronger. You see them? So make them even stronger, getting stronger every day. And of course, there are going to be some points that are going to be pretty dark in the middle of the shadows. 
Why? Because the lights cannot touch it. And while we are drawing fabric, there are points that this is going to happen a lot, okay? A lot. I'm using a reference. And if I want to, I can just go and make swoosh. There is no problem at all, champ. And I made it fall down almost completely 90, 90 degrees and it's fine. Because if I want to just come here and make it fall even more into the side, I can. Champs, remember, if you follow the movement, there are no certain rules that you should follow. Only by following the rule of movement, you're already doing an outstanding job. Do you see how it's like a triangle just falling down, triangle falling down, triangle falling down? Yeah, it's a triangle falling down, spoilers. When you are starting, when you are a beginning artist, you're just going to look at this and be like, what the frick is that? Look cool, but I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm going to show you right now what it is. It's 3D fabric. You're gonna get impressed by that. No, I don't understand. Look, look at this, look at this, look at this. You see? It's going inside. Incredible, amazing, outstanding again. <laughs> Do you see this? It's going totally inside. Going turn it into the main two points. Think why we are drawing. If this part is bending, is it just going to be like direct connect here? Does that make sense to you? That does not make sense to me, so yeah. We need to do like just
Why don't you pick this darker color here in the reference? I'm gonna make it more saturated because we are not going to follow 100% the reference. Remember, we need to create what we see with our imagination. Something even better. Something even better. Something even greater. Yeah. Okay, with this layer called shadows, we're going to change it to multiply. And we're going to put it above the layer 03. That is the one that we are working right now. Okay, I'm going to start to apply the strongest shadows first, okay? Gabs, why are you not making this shadow touch this line here? Because I'm doing a highlight, a reflection. We are already starting to work with reflections. Yes, we are. Okay, so this part is pretty important. Let me tell you. I took so long to understand it. I took so long to understand it. I don't know how long it took me to understand this. Okay. Which points is this highlight happening here? Can you see that it's normally the point, the most up point? The point is going to reflect like perfectly. It's not a little bit um, declined or inclined. It's on the perfect. It's the perfect inclination to get light. Like here, upwards. It's getting the perfect light. Here, it's exactly where the light can touch the most. Here, change it. Change it a little bit. The perspective. Okay, not receiving that light. It's all about perspective, it's all about how it's falling down. Also, I'm going to add some occlusion shadow here. I need to add it to show you champs how to do it. It's one of the hardest shadows to make. I have the edits just a little bit. What should we do here? Oh no! <laughs> exactly what I did, the highest place. Remember, highest place. Okay. Now I'm going to use my eraser to make the gradient better. Eraser. Oh no, it does not cut the transfer. Just go here and put your transfer on. Good. Let's go. Something that I want to show you is that I did it without saturation. And we need saturation. You can see it here. We need saturation. We choose the places, but we still need saturation. What I'm going to do, press Ctrl U. Let me see if I can get it here. Not on this mode. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is why you should use Ctrl U 
to change our hue and saturation. Look how cool it looks. Oh, this is so nice. I would like to live like this, but this is not the focal point of this tutorial. <laughs> the color, I'm going to focus on red, of course. I'm going to duplicate this light layer and change the mode of one of them. Just soft light. To see it better. Okay, now I can see. You on color dodge. I like what color dodge creates. So now we are going to lower the opacity of the first light that we did. Not the color dodge one. The linear dodge. We are going to make it smaller. I know I need to handle even more. See, even I have those moments that I want to stop rendering, just start adding and adding and adding. But there are some times that we just need to work on what we already got.
help a friend that needs to draw better fabric, better clothes. So just share it with your friend. Remember to subscribe and leave a like. I hope this tutorial helped you jump there on YouTube. You're awesome. Bye-bye.